Hi, I'm Anna Passy, better known to you lot as Sly Sienna Blake, and I am here today to answer some of your wonderful questions. You've been sending them in on Facebook and on Twitter for this month's Hollyoaks Access All Areas. Um, worryingly, it doesn't actually take me very long to get into the character of Sienna these days, um, which is probably quite a frightening thing. It used to, I used to have to really sort of focus and think about everything and pace up and down the house. But no, I don't think I'm anything like Sienna. I don't really take her home. If anything, I think being Sienna all day makes me a much nicer human being when I'm not at work. I definitely prefer playing Sienna when she's evil, like no questions about that. It's definitely fun to smash things in the flat and to be like the real baddie character. So I adore working with Jeremy Sheffield. I love my scenes with him. We have lots of scenes that are just Sienna versus Patrick and it's brilliant to work against him. I mean, he's so good at his job. It makes mine very easy. Um, little soap secret. First thing in the morning before he's had his breakfast, he's so super grumpy. So I know when to be quiet. And then once he's had his porridge, we can be friends again. <laughs> so this is the Savage Boat. Um, and sadly, as you can see, it's now out of access because when they blew the boat up, they actually blew the boat up, which is really sad because this was hands down my most favorite set. So on my first ever day at Hollyoaks, I spent all of it on this boat with James Atherton. And I was really, really nervous um, because everybody here is so brilliant. Um, and I got here and James Atherton turned out to be one of the funniest humans I've ever met. So I think the biggest struggle on my first day was not laughing through everything I did. Of course, I really miss my on-screen relationship with Danny Mac. He is just a superstar, but I think for Sienna, there was always such a nice dynamic between the two because she just loved him more than anything, more than anybody has ever loved anybody, even if it is her own twin. It was such a sad day for us. I mean, we hated it. I, was, I could barely speak because I was just sobbing my little heart out and Danny was crying. It was just a mess of tears and snot and it was just a bit heartbreaking. I was so sad to see him go. I'm sorry to say it, ladies, gonna just shatter dreams and the hearts of the nation, but no, he's absolutely awful. <laughs> I couldn't possibly say. I quite like Sienna's wardrobe in general. I mean, she has a few dodgy outfits where she's obviously missed the mark, but I think this new dress that she has is rather lovely. Uh, she buys it for a special date for Ben. However, I really do miss a certain accessory. And that is Sienna's baby bump. Okay, so a little insider information about this bump. This actually isn't the same bump that Sienna had because the original one that we bought, it actually burst because Ashley really liked this sound and don't tell costume I'm gonna do this. He really enjoyed that sound, so he would do it a lot and once he did it too hard and there's a gross belly button just here and it burst and all this like juicy, gross liquid came out of it and we were definitely in trouble. I really, really miss Darren and Sienna together. I thought they were such a great pairing because Sienna's such a misery guts most of the time and Darren is very upbeat and very fun. So I really miss our scenes. So we have a fab new character called Ben Bradley who's just joining the village and he is a policeman and he's also gonna be Sienna's new love interest, which is gonna be great because we haven't really seen her interact with a male in a normal way for a very long time. So I think you guys are gonna love it. So lots of people ask why Nico and Sienna share a bedroom. Bit weird, right? Well, this is the third bedroom and as you can see, there's no space. So we can't have scenes in here and that is why Sienna and Nico are roomies. I think being a mum to Nico has definitely calmed Sienna down. It's definitely made her sort of reassess her situation and her priorities. And now her focus is very much on Nico. As to whether Sienna will be able to tame her, I don't know because she is going to be a little nightmare. I mean, she's Sienna's kid after all. I would definitely take Perry. If we could get one other character into the Bate family, I would take her away from her family and bring her in here. I think it would be really, really fun to have these terrible two kids for Sienna to deal with. I think we can safely say Sienna won't get a happy ending. It's Hollyoaks and it's really boring when she's happy. So I think what they are so brilliant at doing here is pushing Sienna to almost finding happiness and then taking it all back at the last minute and seeing how she reacts. So I think it's really unlikely that everything will turn out nicely for her. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me and thank you for sending in all your fabulous questions. I'm really sorry if we didn't get a chance to answer all of them but you can keep your eyes peeled for next month's Hollyoaks Access All Areas.
จี้